bacon. I love it. I want chocolate-covered bacon. I want a bacon sundae. I want my bacon infused with more bacon. And if I want to play a board game in my bacon-damaged brain, only one will do. Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure. Welcome to Game On. Let's address the book of games to see where this offbeat game came from. Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure is from the Archie McPhee Company. Archie McPhee is not a game maker. It is a novelty company that has been selling odd toys and knickknacks from their Seattle-based store since 1983. If you're looking for a tentacle finger puppet or a horse head mask, Archie McPhee is the place for you. So it's no surprise that this company, with its bent sense of humor, would take an innocent, iconic American board game and drag it through the gravy river until the sugar-sweet game turned into fatty goodness. The game is for up to four players, eight and up, and the goal is to get your particular bacon slice successfully through all of Meatland and into the frying pan first. There's really nothing better, or maybe the word is unsettling, than food-based people who are more than happy to help you eat them. Please fry me in my own fat and digest me. Yay! Let us show you how. Once all bacon strips are on the starting position, the youngest player goes first by spinning the board embedded spinner. As for spaces, there is the beef jerky space, olive loaf space, pepperoni, and corn dog space, as well as meatballs. Landing on meatballs forces you to draw a card and follow the instructions. Such instructions might include go hang out in hot dog hideout or move forward five spaces. Landing on the horrid vegan alley sends you back to start on your next turn. Landing on slide obviously causes you to follow said slide up or down, and landing in Gristle Grotto forces you to stay there until your turn when your spinner lands on corn dogs. On a personal note, Gristle Grotto lives up to its name. This is a very basic game, not unlike its predecessor, and the instructions offers variations of play to give the game more depth. This is an intentionally humorous game, especially to look at, and even the directions made me laugh. Plus, there's this very clever hole here that allows one to find those tricky pieces that often sneak away. The board definitely succeeds in its parody of Candyland, and I love the built-in spinner, so design gets an iconic and clever nine. Play gets a four. It's fun once or twice, but the jokes grow old fast, so overall a six and a half great for parties, but that's about it. Thanks for watching, and may you never, ever, ever get stuck in Gristle Grotto. If you liked this video, please subscribe. We do plan on updating regularly. We also have a Facebook page where you can see detailed pictures and instructions of the games we review, as well as a few other surprises, and a Pinterest page where you will see hundreds of organized gaming images.